Hi everyone, I'm Aubrey, the Foodster Chef, and today I'm going to be making Pinkie Pie Strawberries and Cream Cookies in celebration of My Little Pony, the movie, in theaters October 6th. So I'm going to start with the most important ingredient, which is the freeze-dried strawberries. And these are going to give these cookies their pink tint and a ton of flavor. So I've just pulsed these in a blender until they've you know become a powder. And it helps if your blender is very dry. So I would just wipe it out with a paper towel before you pulse the strawberries and that will guarantee that you don't get any clumps and that it mixes very easily into our sugar cookie mix. So we're gonna take the freeze-dried strawberries and mix it in to our Foodsters organic sugar cookie mix. And this sugar cookie mix has biodynamic sugar and heirloom flour. It's just, it's the best stuff on the market, people. So once that's mixed together, the reason we mix this together is to evenly distribute the strawberry through the, um, the sugar cookie mix. So one cookie doesn't have all the strawberry flavor and another is just a sugar cookie. Um, this just guarantees that every, every cookie is going to taste like strawberries. So that's mixed. And now we're gonna go to our wet ingredients. So I have two room temperature eggs and um, you wanna try to bake with room temperature eggs when you can, just because um, it guarantees that they're going to be mixed into the dough evenly and that's gonna give you a really nice even bake and texture in whatever you're baking, a cake, brownies, cookies. Um, and so a little baking tip is if you're in a hurry and you have just grabbed your eggs from the refrigerator, you can put them in a big bowl of hot water, not boiling water, just hot water for about five to seven minutes. And that's just gonna bring the temperature of the eggs up to room temp, the temperature up to room temperature. Um, and then you can use them to bake right away. And it's one of my favorite baking hacks because it's so easy. If anyone else has a baking hack, they can comment below, and you guys can be my virtual baking assistants. So to the... To the eggs, we're gonna add melted butter. Um, and again, if you're in a hurry and you don't want to wait for your butter to cool, we're gonna do something called tempering the eggs. So we're gonna mix the eggs, and while it's while I'm whisking them, I'm just gonna add about a tablespoon of the hot butter. And that's gonna bring the temperature of the eggs up. And so then I can add the rest of the butter without worrying about making scrambled eggs. If you add hot butter to your eggs, they're going to scramble. So that's mixed and nice and thick. And now we can add the dry ingredients. Pink party. So I'm gonna start just kind of whisking and combining everything, but eventually you're gonna wanna switch to an electric hand blender. It's just less messy and quicker, but you can use your hands if you want to. I'm gonna blend that up until it comes together. It smells like strawberries. One of my favorite thing, things about using freeze-dried fruit is that, um, you know, it's, it's freeze-dried at the peak of, of its flavor. So, like, this smells like, like strawberry patch right now, like we've been using fresh strawberries. So, I love to add freeze-dried fruits to cakes, cookies, smoothies, it's just a really nice kind of extra flavor ingredient. So we have the dough and our oven is preheating to 350 degrees. So while that's happening, I'm gonna use a tablespoon and just shape the dough. And this dough isn't too sticky, but if you find that it's a little sticky, if you just get your hands a little bit wet, it keeps the dough from sticking to your hands. So you're just gonna put these cookies on 
the pan. I have this pan lined with a silicone mat, but you can also use parchment paper. And then just press the tops a little bit, and that just guarantees that you're gonna kind of get like this flat top cookie, and it's just an easier shape to make a sandwich out of. So those are lined up about one and a half inches apart. And so once we have those, we're going to bake them about 12 to 17 or 12 to 15 minutes, um, just until the edges become golden and the top is firm. So we'll get those in the oven. And so here I have cookies that I baked earlier. So we want these to be cool when we assemble the sandwiches. Um, so while we make the frosting, these cookies are going to cool. If you were to put the frosting on a hot cookie, it would just melt very intensely. So we have the frosting, eight ounces of cream cheese. And this is also at room temperature. It just is makes it a lot easier to whip and get really smooth and creamy. So we're gonna take that, get it really smooth, and then we're just gonna add the Foodsters Organic Vanilla Frosting Mix, which is also gluten free. Um, and this is a really easy, easy frosting recipe, even if you're not making this particular recipe. Um, frosting can be kind of an intimidating thing for some people to make. So a really easy frosting recipe is just eight ounces of softened cream cheese and a Foodsters Organic Frosting Mix. And you just beat it until it's smooth and creamy and you can frost a cake, cupcakes, you can add freeze-dried strawberries to it. It's just a really easy way to make frosting. And if you're vegan, you can add a ripe avocado and just blend it until it's creamy. Maybe add a little bit of almond milk just to thin it out a little. Maybe some chocolate. So, we have the frosting and the cream cheese mixed together. And I'm just going to add a half a teaspoon of vanilla. And that's just going to add an extra depth to the frosting. Get that mixed in. Perfect. So now we're gonna assemble them. So to do that, we are going to take about a tablespoon of the frosting. We're just gonna take one of the cookies that have been cooled and just spread it on the bottom and then top it with the second cookie and just gently squeeze just so the frosting comes out a little bit on the side because we're gonna roll it through a sprinkles bath. <laughs> So then you just repeat with the cookies. Um, these can stay good in the fridge for you know a few hours, up to a day if you really have to, if you want to make it ahead of time. Otherwise, I suggest enjoying them immediately because they smell really good. Mm. It's very strawberry forward. I'm very happy with myself, I have to say. To find this recipe, go to foodsters.com and then on foodsters.com, you can find a list of stores where you can buy Foodsters products. We're also on Amazon. And don't forget to watch My Little Pony the Movie in theaters October 6th. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. See you next time.